Welcome back. Entrepreneurship Tuesday is the day and we are going to have a talk on matters entrepreneurship, particularly on savings and investment. For this particular discussion, we have an expert, a financial advisor, and she goes by the name uh, Nora Vihanda and she will introduce herself. Karibu sana Nora. Thank you very much. Glad to have you with us. All right. Uh, so tell us a little bit about uh, what you do as a financial advisor or who is Nora? Yeah, uh, thank you for welcoming me uh, mm. in Y254. I'm Just glad. Welcome. Yeah, so uh, I am a financial advisor and uh, we look in ways that we can make our people mm -hmm. to live in a comfortable and uh, peaceable way. Yeah, the future depends on what you are doing right now. Mm -hmm. So we are going to uh, talk in areas, how do we invest? How do we conquer this situation that we are having cu currently like in Kenya? Yeah. Yes. So yeah, we'll definitely get into into all of that. And for that, mm -hmm. let's uh, tell us what's the difference between savings and investment because sometimes it's easily, you know, Confused to be the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So today we will talk in a layman's language. Please, what is yeah. savings and what is investment? So that mm -hmm. uh, everyone can get to understand, am I in a level of saving or am I in a, a level, level of, of investment? investment. Mm -hmm. So let, let me begin with saving. Mm -hmm. Saving, it's that person maybe you got in your employment, like uh, teachers, like police officers you've gotten it to employment, you need to start saving for a better future. That is in short. And when we talk about uh, investment, investment is commitment of resources. So you see, commitment of resources mm -hmm. that you got through saving. Okay. For future benefits again. Mm. So life is like we are moving step by step to achieve the better. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's the uh, saving is the first step to before mm -hmm. you even get to investment. Yes. So you save little by little until you are able to invest that money into some things uh, that will sustain you in the future, into something that will bring you back the money, right? Yes. All right. So talk to us. Let's start. Uh, we'll talk about you know investments in the different areas of life. Mm -hmm. Well, let's start with investing as a youth mm -hmm. or saving as a youth in this tough economic time that we are in we just saw thousands and thousands of nys mm -hmm. uh, graduates going for kdf uh, recruit recruitment which was only taking around 300 um 300 people only and we had thousands of them going it speaks a lot on the state of the country so many people are unemployed and those that are employed there are those that really get small wages that they barely, uh, you know, make it to the next day. They're only trying to survive. You live, literally live, uh, you know, by your hand each day, uh, whatever, each day payment, you use it for food and everything. Mm -hmm. So how exactly can they go about saving and investing? All right. Uh, with savings and investment, one thing, you have to do is planning and making the right decision. Mm -hmm. Making the right decision as a youth, you have to be with a mentor. That is the first thing. Mm -hmm. Who should be your mentor? A mentor is a person who has succeeded more than you. A person whom you cannot compete with. Mm -hmm. A person whom you can respond to what you are doing. So that we start, uh, at least we have targets and where to start. About what you are speaking about, uh, uh, the recruitment of the KDF, and uh, in fact I saw it, and you see it, is, uh, it speaks more about a country and um, youths are in a state of depression and desperation. So we have to come out with the ideas. We have to make sure that our people understand that there are things that we should do. We have talents. We have to mentor our talents. We have businesses. It's not a must you go to 
okay, you, you look for employment. There, there, are, there are ways you can start employing yourself. Mm -hmm. Then also in this tough economic situation, you do what we call multitasking. That is what we are going to aim at. Because you cannot tell me maybe you are in employment, you are getting 40,000, and that is what all you are looking at. Then you will, tomorrow, because every day you grow, someone grows from uh, small troubles to bigger troubles. <laughs> the more you grow, the more troubles. Yeah, the more are. you grow, the more the basket of trouble really need, eh? mm -hmm. it wants to blast. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that's why our youths, we are still young and our brains are still very sharp for the youth. Mm -hmm. The brains are still very sharp. D use this particular time to sit back. And uh, one factor I usually look at are youth that love reading. If you read, there are books also you can read and they will help you alongside having a mentor. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. So main main things that you've mentioned, have a mentor, mm -hmm. someone who's more experienced, who has gone ahead of you. Yes. Have um, different streams of income. Don't just settle for one thing. Yes. And you've yes. mentioned 40,000. You know, for some, that is everything. You know, that is a dream. And it's comfortable. It, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So they need to aim higher. Yes. Because as we grow, the more problems. You become a mother, you become a father, mm. you have... Uh, there are health issues involved when you the older you get and everything so we need to to be well planned at this point before we get to an age where we will retire or something where we are uh, elderly and we're going to talk about the elderly also so so now what what kind of a plan as a youth can you sit down can you just map out a plan what you know in terms of saving how much would you be saving in a day if you're really earning something like 20,000, you know, that's the most basic pay for most uh, youths. In, you know. So if you're earning something around 20,000 or 30,000, how do you save for it? Uh -huh. That's a good question. And uh, I usually like such like questions. Mm -hmm. When you are doing a savings plan, the first thing you must look at is the income that is coming, something that is coming inside your pocket. What has come today? Mm -hmm. Don't just say uh, my salary is uh, like uh, 30,000 or 40,000. Mm -hmm. Because diversification of incomes, there are also some incomes that come apart from the salary. Okay. Every 10%, and that one someone should write <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Every ten percent of your earning is not you is not your money to waste. Okay. Majorly, we find youths and uh, young people like me and you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are very young, by the way. We are, yes, we are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you find that uh, the hypers that we have on beauty on maybe food stuffs like oh, let's talk about the hamburger the chicken the and pizza. Name them, mm -hmm. the pizza and everything so you find that we don't know we should invest uh my mentor is a a millionaire okay is a multi-millionaire okay i need <laughs> such mentors please <laughs> locate me <laughs> yeah, that's why you <laughs> have to give them also my contacts then my mentor i was looking at the way he is a uh, reacting and interacting with people and himself. Mm -hmm. Then one day in the morning, uh, we came to, the, to our office. Mm -hmm. And uh, after a while, after I was out of the office, we were feeling like hungry. He told me, Nora, come, let's go down uh, where my car is. He has like... Uh, Good cars. <laughs> Let me not mention the names. <laughs> Good cars, not one German car. German machines. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, mm -hmm. uh, in the vehicle, there is porridge. Wow. Good porridge. That is a multi-millionaire. A multi-millionaire. Then, how, mm. look at uh, a poor millionaire who is earning <laughs> 20,000 in a hotel I love that. eating <laughs> pizza. <laughs> I love that. A poor millionaire <laughs> earning 20,000. Yeah, <laughs> the potential is there. But you're eating out 
Yes. A fancy restaurant. And uh, mm. he was talking to me. He was telling me, Nora, don't work with people you are going to compete. And first of all, study the things that you are going to be doing. Study the priority. Prioritize. This is where I'm going to start. For instance, I'm a youth. I'm going to save 10% of every income that you comes. Earn. Yeah, th that, that I earn, I'm going to save. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to give myself a target. My target is not going to be uh, like two years. Youths, we run, we have hypers. We run, we run, and we fail. Mm -hmm. And then we start blaming ourselves. There is no one who can bewitch you. There is no one who can bewitch you. It's but only you, yourself. you can bewitch yourself. Mm -hmm. With how you think, you can bewitch yourself. So my mentor told me, the first thing you should prioritize in life, because you are a young person, buy land. He, he did not tell me that maybe you are a, a, a woman, maybe you get a rich man who will marry you. He did not <laughs> tell me like that. that. He told mm. me, you buy land. And in fact, for those girls that really want to invest, that's the first thing yeah we and mm. yeah and in fact we have started the same project somewhere in kisumu wow <laughs> the same project it's mm. not something that we are speaking we are speaking what we are doing mm. what we, we want to walk step by step in as much as we are going to when you step at for instance let me talk about the youth that are 20 years and 30 years like me mm -hmm. we are going to step the fourth level at least that level uh they usually say life begins at 40. Yeah. You see, mm. at 40, you, you must have stabilized everything. Mm. Yes. At least you have your own land, something <laughs> to your name. You have your own land. And in fact, if you can manage having it uh, early, at 40, you'll be driving a, a nice car. But don't compete. That is the problem of our people. Don't <laughs> compete. Don't, don't rush to, to, to <laughs> don't buy a car because to. someone has it, but because you're taking it. Because my mentor told me one thing. Mm. Um, Buying a vehicle as a priority is something which is very good, but it depreciates every day. But when you have land, then you have a vehicle. You see, that one is going to grant you more opportunities mm -hmm. because you have peace of mind, you have built your house, you have stabilized everything. That is what is in progress. Okay. Yeah. So buying a car is not a bad thing, but yeah. at least start with buying a land before you buy a car. Yes. Get get somewhere fast. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. And saving is 10%. So this is aside from, uh, for Christians, I think 10%, I've got 10% for savings. Yes. <laughs> uh, one thing and that uh, is after taxation. Yeah, uh -huh. after taxation and everything. If you are taking 10% to your pastor, and okay, okay, um, it's something which is very good, but sometimes mm -hmm. our guys be cautious. <laughs> we are youths, and <laughs> let us talk. I'm t speaking about youth, then uh -huh. we'll come to our elderly people. We understand what we have for them. Yeah. For our youths, kindly, because we have been lured mm -hmm. so many times. When you take your money to the church, for instance, after you pay your tithe, that is something which is very good. But when you take everything to the church, then what mm. do you expect your tomorrow will be? <laughs> uh, be wise. Someone asked me somewhere, will you take everything that you own to the church, then tomorrow you'll start begging on the street. Mm -hmm. Look at it in such like ways. Yeah. Then we understand. Let us have notebooks. Mm. Write down all the expenses that you are Go, you are incurring every month. Then also, when you are going to do uh, purchases in a supermarket, make sure you buy things in a supermarket. In, a, For instance, when you get your salary, buy them at once. Write down, then buy them at once. Mm -hmm. Make sure if there is anything you are going to buy, maybe you are living in Nairobi, in Mboga too. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah, that is the only thing you can say, I'm going to buy. But yeah, so don't buy sugar at the yeah. shop because it's more expensive there, right? It's more expensive. But when you buy once at the supermarket, then you will start planning your money slowly by slowly. Mm -hmm. And for the people that really want to work us with us step by step, because you should have someone you can respond to. This is what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. So when you get such like a person, you you get motivated. Then 
uh, your progress will be faster because you'll be sharing even when you fail you'll be open mm -hmm. and share out okay i did this one and i failed then you if it's your mender or maybe someone you are working with step by step will tell you no this one is, should be handled in such and uh, such a way mm -hmm. yes so it's a, it's good to have a mentor who will keep you accountable yes all right yeah. that's quite interesting so we d as youths we do not have an excuse of not saving regardless of what we earn mm -hmm. uh, whatever it is because yes. there are many opportunities that we can get into what about now the elderly what what is there for them uh for the elderly people we have uh, majorly our elder men and women these are people with money already mm -hmm. but uh sometimes or maybe these are people approaching retirement mm -hmm. and uh we usually also talk about retirement in a way that you don't misuse your money don't misuse your money mm -hmm. because this is money this is like your last money Okay, this is like you are living your last time and you, every old person, when I interact with the old people, mm -hmm. I really love interacting with them because they are peaceable. They just don't want any friction with anyone. <laughs> Another lecturer <laughs> is, uh, is, around, uh, is around 58 years old. Mm -hmm. He told me, Nora, uh, I wish you would be going and uh, expressing to people how your financial team has helped us because it's something th we grew we grow together step by step mm -hmm. and uh, some lecturers at u or n i was at K upper kabete campus mm -hmm. and also the our neighbor here at nairobi university so one lecturer from uh, upper kabete campus was asking me nora if there is a story you you should go and tell is explain to people the importance of investment and how it has helped me individually and also my family. Okay. Yes. Wow. Because through having a financial manager in life, he achieved his children right now they are in the States. Mm -hmm. how, and did he, how did he do it? Started slowly. Mm -hmm. The way we are just saying, commit yourself first of all. Look for a financial advisor get the contact get in touch yeah not only that when we speak about uh, mm -hmm. investment we are going to also to speak about uh, the retirement benefits because right now is nearly retire retiring just two years mm -hmm. yeah okay they will be he, he will be home mm -hmm. and there is a good amount of money a lump sum that he's going to receive. Ah, he's going to receive. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't know where you'll take this money. And sometimes maybe there are some teachers, they did not have a capacity to get financial advisors. Yeah. So they have tarmacked. And even right now when they are getting this information, they are shocked because they are retiring. Now what can we do? Mm -hmm. One thing, be cautious about your money when you are going to retire. I usually tell people, uh, when you get your job today, know that in the next few years you are going to retire. So what are you going to do with this money that uh, you are going to be given as a lump sum? Are you going to invest in buying uh, vehicles? Mm. That is small money. If you buy vehicles, then you start frustration. Takufana <laughs> pressure. <laughs> <laughs> you'll die so, so uh, what are you supposed to do with the money you get now i'll show you them a way where whereby they invest their money their money will work, work for, for them. them how so yeah then they will earn be earning the returns either annually or monthly or quarterly so that one will uh, is about them getting in, in touch with me, getting the contacts, because there is no need, someone who is 60 years old, then unamuambia achukwe matato, seriously, do you want this man to die? And he has been sitting in a class teaching the rest of his or her life. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's not good, it's not advisable. What you do with that money, you look for a financial advisor who will work with you step by step mm -hmm. for instance if you get a financial advisor that will give you ways that your money will be working for you and 
earn for you, then from that small capital, there are things we will advise that old man to start doing. Okay, would you would t tell us a little bit, what, what is it? Where are the good areas that someone can invest in uh, as a retiree? When you retire, so that it makes money for you. Oh, all right. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that one, um, they have to get in touch with me because we have uh, we have the bonds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have the money market. Mm -hmm. We have uh, mm, other investment areas that strategically I'll have to show someone according to the stages that someone is undergoing or maybe mm. what he or she has. Okay, Yeah. interesting. But uh, even before that, just the general um, understanding of you into this investment area that you have mentioned, that we have T-bonds, T-bills, we have money markets, especially those three, mm -hmm. for youth even. How important is it to invest in those and how much do do they take in for uh, T-bonds? How, how, how uh, long does it take to mature? Which one is the best to take between mm -hmm. the three? You know, and how does it benefit one? For a youth, uh, one thing, because I know the incomes of the, our <laughs> youth in Kenya is wanting, mm -hmm. we will speak about saving. And the savings, uh, there are places that you can save your money mm -hmm. and you get uh, small returns which sometimes makes our youth feel like, oh my God, what am I doing? But when you get in touch with me, I'll show you how to make your money grow very fast. But and security. Uh -huh. but we want, we want and you peace to mention, of mind. We want you to mention a little bit before <laughs> they get in touch with you for someone who might not be able to. And yeah. they're watching this, because it will be uploaded on YouTube later on, later on. So how... You know, just give us some tips into into those areas. We are going to do savings. this mm -hmm. uh, for our youth. Mm, we are going to have plans that we start. We'll split them into either four years, five years, ten years, and those plans they are going to get money. For instance, maybe there is a youth that uh, wants to marry after four years. Mm -hmm. I'll show you a way that you'll get dowry money. Mpaka those two are there. You know them with the suits, uh -huh. the jazifanani. When mm -hmm. they come, they respect you. Okay. you know, na? Yeah, I'll show them what to do. So we will work with them. Because right now I'm having a, a team of uh, 15 boys. Those are boys. I, I have a team of nine girls. And they have started. Okay, last year... There are few who started the last year and the others who began this year. And in fact, they are responding very well. Mm -hmm. They are responding very well. The only thing is for boy child, and uh, they have suffered a lot by sending fear, my dear. You know mm -hmm. that? Fair. <laughs> You've yeah. suffered a lot. You've boy suffered child, uh, for this reason, I come to you and I'm going to secure your money. Yeah. So wherever you are listening to me, boy child, please get in touch with me. Your money need to be invested. In, you need to save so that you invest in future. Your future needs you. You'll be the man of tomorrow. So uh, get in touch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we have... Uh, platforms but i'll still get to the the t-bills i don't know for someone who's adding good money as a youth we we don't want to ignore them uh, yeah. you know they can also get into something but do we have um applications or softwares where someone can track their expenses in order to make sure that they you know that they are well disciplined in terms of managing uh their expenses and creating a good savings culture or do you recommend just you know taking noting a plan and you know writing down your expenses every now and then because i know sometimes you buy credit you might not record that down <laughs> so do we can we have I, are there applications that you would recommend or something uh all right you you just talked very well um what i have told you and i repeat it again mm -hmm. when you are doing your monthly expenditure do it once when you know very well you are spending like a uh, a credit, 2,000 credit like me in a month I spend like uh, 
2,500. I mm. buy it once. So that month, whenever the credit will end, that is the end of communication. And maybe, <laughs> maybe yeah. it is an emergency, you mm. see? Because uh, we talk too much. For financial advisors, we talk That's too much. That's your and job. <laughs> and we call too much, you mm. see? And sometimes we call people just to greet them also. Ah, okay. You have to give them Maintain peace of mind mm -hmm. because you find maybe some people they have maybe problems and there is no one who can listen to you. Mm -hmm. So we give them the peace of mind. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good double up almost <laughs> as a counselor. But yeah, <laughs> I, I get your point. All right. Mm. So now um, for people who are earning good money as youths, because we have youths who have, you know, who are running businesses. We also have those that uh, have, they have good employment. How do they invest in the treasury bills, bonds, and uh, you know money market? Mm -hmm. That one they have to get in touch with me. You have to you, give them my contact you, right you now because uh, uh, investing in treasury bonds uh, for those people who have good money it will help them. And also maybe someone uh, wants to to start uh, maybe like building a mortgage somewhere or something like that one maybe and uh, you really want time maybe you'll do it in December mm -hmm. and you have some money with you I'll show you how to you okay. keep your money in a place that it's earning for you mm -hmm. yeah there are platforms that will help you but getting in touch with someone whom you can be accountable to is priority because yeah. everyone will come and mm -hmm. everyone may be, all right, it's not easy to get someone who will walk with you step by step as I will do to my listeners. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm not mean, <laughs> but I have okay. to. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not highly confidential yeah. information, it's just that you want to guide them through yeah. it. I just want to guide them because, uh, you know, when you create a rapport with uh, your listeners, maybe you are like the way we are with you right now, mm -hmm. When uh, we talk with you, you will understand me. I have already understood you, you see. Mm -hmm. So we will start working step by step and understanding what can we do. There are those people also that um, wants to save for education of their ch children. Yeah. And uh, there is what we call fear of the unknown. The fears that our parents had is what made us understand that people, rich people are bad people, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What do you know about rich people? No. <laughs> what did the, your parent tell you about uh, the rich? Rich people. They are illuminati. Okay. <laughs> so it's the wrong perception. It's a wrong perception. So we have to get into uh, understanding and the know-how to, to see that money, by the way, money can speak for you even when your voice is not there. Okay. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for instance, Maybe you are a young man and maybe you are uh, just a married couple. For instance, maybe uh, your husband paid dowry very well and uh, every month he, he usually greet your parents. You see? Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean when I say greetings. Of you course. cannot Send greet me without yeah. a person number. But <laughs> it has to ring. <laughs> so, uh, then Mkosane uh, Kidogo in that house, who is questioned? <laughs> the parents call you. They call you. Nini, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh -huh. Sit down, call pastor. They, they even want to involve pastor very fast because <laughs> they know typical, very well. Typical African parents. <laughs> it will be hectic. <laughs> if that girl comes from that house, it will be hectic. Yeah. But when you don't have something, when you call, I you think. call your parents. <laughs> well, but I, I think it depends, but yeah. it, it could. It is there. It actually <coughs> happens. Some mm -hmm. for for others, it's bad culture because some people are beaten. You know, in some marriages and pe parents mm -hmm. tell them kapo kapo, which is not really, really good. But uh, in others that can be solved, then it's a good thing that they do, and money inspires that, as you've said rightfully put it. Finally, mm -hmm. um, let's talk about debt. Mm -hmm. Youths are in debt because um, of one reason or the other, you're making money, but you're not making enough. So you get a debt when, then you, when you get 
paid, you pay the debt and get another one, you know, it becomes yes. a sort of a bad culture. Mm -hmm. So how do they work it out? Now, our youth, right now, mm -hmm. there is something that I want to caution every youth that is listening to me. Kindly, please don't try to take the phone debts. Uh -uh. I'm repeating it once more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> despite the fact that it's someone's business but it's a caution if you really want to have peace of mind because the interest mm -hmm. are suicidal true yes my youth kindly and whenever you have debts with uh, for instance uh, akinatala digital money lenders yes mm -hmm. digital money lenders pay them because they're going to blacklist you and in future you really need to have a Clean record a good record or statement to to show off in other banks that i'm someone who can take uh, four million I can take like eight million and i invest this money and when i invest this money it is going to earn more yeah because okay we've we've just touched on a little maybe mm -hmm. one another day we will talk well, about even investing in real estates and everything we just touched on something literally so that we give them the caution first of all then we give them a way where to start mm -hmm. that is one thing our listeners should get yeah yes and i'm sure they've gotten that thank you thank you very much Nora, for your very insightful uh you know uh points to yes. on savings and investment i'm sure that our youth out here has been helped by some of the tips that you have shared and before you before you go you want mm -hmm. to share your your information and how people can contact you and your last one all right before you finish on the matters about dates um i've seen that um many of our youths are getting money from this platform paying this platform and getting from this platform paying this platform mm -hmm. just be cautious because uh, you will not have anything to show when you get to that age whereby they need some people to talk maybe there is somewhere a function when they call for men's uh, the village men's you are you you are at outlooked when they call for village the renowned ladies you are looked down at ata barua wezi tumiwa kwa sababu they know you mm. atakuja kutusumbua ana kitu you see or maybe when they call you anakwambia ukuje lakini ujue utaosha vyombo upewe 200 you see mm -hmm. so when you want to create your your future as per now understand working step by step with the financial advisor mm -hmm. i advise youth I advise elder people, I advise middle-aged people, and as I told you, my name mm -hmm. is Nora Vihenda. I'm a financial advisor, and my contacts are 0707-986-531. Maybe there is someone who really wants to give me a call, or maybe mm -hmm. wants to give me a, an appointment. We speak to organizations. We speak to Wanachamas, the Chama members. We speak also for those people, youths in a gathering. We speak to teachers. We, 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 we lecture the lecturers. Oh, so maybe you really need uh, me one day in uh, your institution, anywhere you, that you are. You can just give me a call. And my number is 0707 mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Thank you, uh, Nora. That has been Nora Vihenda, a financial advisor, talking to us about savings and investments. I hope you've taken something from this conversation. Right now, we're going to take a short break, but Brand Sakwa will be back with yet another interesting conversation on entrepreneurship. And remember that we have asked you a question on our social media platform at Y254 channel across all social media platforms. Uh, engage with us. Let us know your your thoughts on that particular uh, topic. My personal handle is at Stephanie Ayeta. See you on the other side.